Okay. It's all good to get another, you know, tough road win in, in OVC and, you know, stay undefeated in OVC play and uh, just, uh, you know, didn't get any style points the second half for sure, but, you know, felt really good about where we were at halftime and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, got the W and got back home. Looking forward to moving on this week to another tough road, you know, uh, game against Murray, who's a, you know, very uh, potent at offense. Uh, got a great quarterback in KD at, uh, you know, set a lot of records and, you know, really throw the football and they're, they're a lot better, I think, defensively and special teams and what they've been. So, you know, our, our last three OEC opponents, uh, the, the next three in the conference besides ourselves. So we got to work cut out for us again this week. But, you know, very, very pleased with the effort and, uh, you know, how, how we played on Saturday. Coach Cross, I, I imagine the penalties are, are frustrating. Uh, is there anything you can do or anything at all, or is it just something you just have to live with? Well, uh, just something we got to live with. Just move on. Got to win. Just move on to the next game. I guess talk about KD Humphreys. It's a quarterback you've seen before, but maybe he's playing as well as he's been playing there at Murray State in that offense. He really is. You know, Katie's had a great career. It's been fun to watch Alabama guy, you know, go up and, you know, have the success he's had. And, you know, he does uh, you know, a good job making decisions, knows where he's going with the ball, gets the ball out quick, and for the most part, you know, protects football. So he's a good football player. And, uh, like I said, our, our defense has got, our, got their work cut out for him. And, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, got to get ready this week. When we talked Saturday, you were sending the video in on Reggie Halls or it is uh, overturned. He'll be able to play, you know, on, on Saturday. So it's not targeting, which is a, is a great thing there. And uh, like I said, just you know, hopefully, I uh, talk about you know, how we played on Saturday too. I think our, you know, our defense played just extremely well. When you you know set a school record and you you know you hold somebody zero yards rushing, it's a really good day. So I mean, I think they went good for them. I thought, you know, our, our you know, uh, coverage teams did a really good job kicking game wise. It's good to see Esman and you know Campbell snapping. You know, we're already get Brady back this week too, so it ought to be a good thing. Last week about the rankings coming out, and obviously you got the best spot you can get uh, for you as a coach. Did you notice any kind of difference whatsoever? And then for all players, Dr. Taylor to go down. Was was there any talk of that whatsoever, or or any sense of maybe hey, we control our own destiny? It's kind of like that. I mean, we mentioned that and told them, you know, the day it came out, you know, after practice. We really don't ever look at those things. But, uh, you know, we, we talked about being right where we wanted to be and, you know, ever go in line and you want to get that, that top seed going in. So you, you definitely got to take it one game at a time. And I thought we did that last week and, you know, focus on CMO. And I think we'll do that again this week and focus on Murray. And then for you guys, it's Oh, no, definitely um, good. Being being placed that high and getting that um, good credibility, but really not something that we really really I don't want to say well we focus on, but not not something that we let get us off track or off focus or what, what's that task and really what's that task is just the next game at hand. So, oh, uh, it's always a blessing to be number one. Uh, but us as a defense, we don't look at that. Uh, we work to get there. And we're gonna work to stay there. That's how we um, play ball. We prepare for it. And when the lights come on Saturday, it's game day. So we're gonna continue to uh, compete and stay in that position. It's good to have that respect of uh, everybody in the country think we're number one, but we can't let that get into our heads too much. We gotta go out there and play our game every week. Hopefully hit our stride going into the playoffs. Like like K2 was hitting on, you know, it's good having that respect, but we still want to, you know, focus on the defense and getting better because, you know, we haven't played our best game yet. Like, we know we can play, so we're still trying to put the pieces together and get better, you know. So we just focus. It's good to be number one, but at the end of the day, we still got things we need to correct. So, Rand, we talked about position when I was introducing you guys. Kind of talk about the adjustment changing from safety to that position and what, what do you like about it? Uh, going from safety to nickel, uh, I kind of like it. You know, you get to be in the box, you get to play one-on-one -on -one with the fast receivers, you get to um, be in coverage, you get to blitz, you get to actually like a lot, like you said, it's a combo of things, you know what I'm saying? And they put me in that predicament to make those plays, as my coach told me before the season, to do those things. So I'm going to keep pursuing to do those things for the team and for the defense, because I feel like uh, at that position, you gotta, you know, know a lot, do a lot, and 
to be that player for the defense. That's what that position is. It's a lot of responsibility. Casey, I'm gonna leave you out of this. The three defensive guys, especially Jalen, uh, this offense this week will be the first time you really played anybody's gonna throw it all over the field like they did this week. If you will talk about getting ready for that, knowing the ball's gonna be up in the air and coming at you. Um, I think uh, last year at this time, I think they was the number one ranked passing offense. So um, this team, we know that they love to pass the ball and, and they're good at what they do. So uh, we have to hone in on, on those, just fixing those details and those uh, mistakes from last game and just, just keep gradually growing together as a defense and also as a team. So this, this is a good team that we're facing and we're looking forward to playing them on Saturday. Oh, uh, like you said, this is a good team. We respect them. You know, we know they throw the ball a lot. So that's something we know from Sunday all to Saturday. So we're going to prepare for that every day, every day, every minute, every day, you know, encouraging and all that. So, you know, they throw the ball over half the time, mostly all the time, probably if not the whole game. So that's something we got to prepare for from now to Saturday. And I'm pretty sure us as a defense, we get that down pack and, you know, get it off the list and play hard Saturday. Well, we have great respect for KD. You know, he has a great arm. But, you know, I feel as if I have a tremendous I, – I, I really trust 1K, Saran, Reggie, and all the other corners. You know, I feel, I feel like our secondary, they really grew since last year. And, you know, Jalen, he's a real good leader, and they're going to they gonna really step up to the plate when it's time to play. What did you want, Lee? Well, no. I mean, he'll, he'll go under the MRI, you know, today, and we'll, we'll kind of find out where he is. Kind of bragged on him after the game. That guy's played with a separated shoulder since EKU, and, you know, just, uh, you know, just, you know, really, you know, you know, sucked it up and played and played hurt, and I'm sure if there's any way he can get back, he'll get back for sure. Coach, y'all mentioned uh, that number one spot, you do get a little respect with that, but also comes with you're going to get every team's best game of the year with that number one spot. You're definitely circled on the calendar. What's that like trying to especially put that in your defense and offensive side of the mind? You know that they're going to be ready to play every weekend. Well, I, th I think our guys have just succumbed to the fact that that's the life for us. You know, you haven't lost OVC game in two and a half years, and, you know, you're going to get everybody's – you know, they had homecoming on Saturday. They won't, They have probably had triple the crowd that they normally have. So, uh, you know, they, and you're going to get everybody's best shot. And we talk about it all the time. You're going to get everybody's A-plus game. And, you know, it has nothing to do with how we play. We, you know, we've got to play, you know, complete games, you know. And, you know, I felt well, I played first half, you know, really well. Uh, you know, and in the second half, we just didn't get the ball in the end zone off. Offensively, I think turned it over and you know got a field goal blocked and you know you you sit there and you get those balls in the end zone. It's probably a different game at the end, but a win, a win, at the end of the day, a win's a win. You know you want to go out and play, you know that A plus game every week, and sometimes that just don't happen. You know like, we got to get to where we're we're playing that four quarters consistently in all three phases. You know, by the time we get to the playoffs, and really it's got to start this week. I mean, this I, mean, I told the guys when we played, you know Saturday, that's like a playoff game. And it was. It was a playoff game to SEMO. You know, they, if they had any shot of contending, you know, in, in the conference, they had to beat us on Saturday. Same way with Murray, same way with Martin. You know, they, it's going to be their Super Bowl. It's uh, their backs against the wall. They got to play. They got to play great, and you know, to, to to have a chance. So, you know, we kind of expect that, and uh, you know, just uh, it's probably good for us. It's probably good for us to be in that type of a game in the second half on Saturday. You know, I, I think, you know, to, to go through a season and not have any close games when you get in the playoffs, you're going to have to win one possibly in overtime or, you know, stop a, stop like we did, you know, Saturday. I thought one of the best things, you know, uh, yeah, we did defensively has been put in a situation with a two-minute drive and we kind of let them get it down there, but then we kept them out of the end zone. That was a huge stop for our defense. So to be put in those game situations, uh, you know, you can't, uh, put a value on how much that that helps our team for us when you get into the playoffs in these games where you know games are going to come down to the, you know making a drive at the end of the game to win a game or stopping somebody that's got the ball at the end of the game with a one score game. John, this defense has had three pick sixes. You've you've held a, a team to to zero yards rushing. How do you how do you keep challenging this defense? 
I think you challenge yourself. I mean, they want to, you know, all our guys, you know, no matter what phase it is, they, they expect to play. And I've said this before, and we talk about it as a team. You know, it's, uh, you know, we got a certain standard, you know, that, that we want to play at. And, uh, you know, if we don't play at that standard and play at that level, you know, they, uh, they're, they're disappointed. You know, they're, they're, really, they're mad and upset, and they lose sleep over it. I want to say that, you know. So our defense, it's, it's easy to challenge them, you know, because like Quan said a while ago, you know, they feel like they can play better than what they've played, you know. So uh, I don't think we have a problem with that. And I, I think our team does a great job of that because, you know, we don't get complacent. You know, I, I've seen some long faces around here, you know, this weekend on offense. You know, we, we, you know, the offense didn't play, you know, to the standard they want to play to. You know, they played really good first half, and the second half we just didn't get the ball in the end zone, you know. So I don't think you uh, would sit here if you score a couple in the second half, we, we'd be sitting here feeling like that. But it's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. That's that's a good thing. That's a, that's all good because they w want to play at that level and they know what it takes to get there. And, uh, you know, when we're consistently – and I say this, great teams find ways to win games. And, and great teams with a playoff system, when the playoffs roll around, they know how to play. You know, so I think we've been there, we've done that, we, we know what's ahead of us and we know how to get there. And that's, that's going to be a good thing for us. How hungry are, are you guys defensively? Hungry. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> we, wanna, like, we know we haven't played our best yet. Just, we haven't. We still got a little mental bust. Where like we still buzz during the games. We need to correct everything, fix all of our mistakes, so we can have that perfect game. We haven't had that perfect game yet. Like we know we can have that secondary defensive lineman to the to the corners. That's everybody to linebackers. We just ready for that perfect game where we all come together and just show show the world we're about. And there's kind of there's no relaxing there either. I, I think you know we got some depth. You know, uh, you need to ask, I think, uh, you know, Jalen you know, and, and Soraya, I mean, it, it, on that side of the ball, there's there's a lot of competition. You know, uh, you've you got to battle to keep your job every day. I mean, so there's no relaxing there. When you're playing, you know, 12-D linemen in the game, there's there's constant competition. You know, there's competition at the corner position. There's competition at safety position. There's competition at the nickel. To, so you can't relax. I mean, so that, that kind of takes care of that, you know, and uh, there, there can't be any complacency as a player, I don't think, you know, when you're sitting there and, and you're going to practice every day, you know, and uh, it's, it's just, that's, that's a healthy thing for a football team in our defense. Coach, uh, how crucial was it for Brian wanting to come in those few drives that he did in the game and uh, end up the team's leading rusher at the end of the game and possibility of him having to play if he like it was done? Well, I think it was, uh, I think it was crucial, you yeah. know, and I, I think it was a good thing to get him in, you know, in, in the second quarter. I, I've done a – I said this after the game. I did, I've done a poor job, the, you know, this year of getting our number two and three guy ready. You know, we've always – that's probably one of the better things that we've done, you know, as, as, a, as a football team is have everybody ready to play. And, you know, we've, we've always had, a, you know, uh, you know guys that, that could come into the game and play and they got significant snaps. And, and we just have not – done that this year and that's that's my fault so you know it was good to get him in the game and get him quality snaps when the game was on the line so that was a that was a good thing and uh you know just uh, i think down the line that's going to help us